I'm going to show you how you can automate entire PowerPoint presentations using the data in any Microsoft Excel workbook. So over here, I've got an example of one such presentation. And on my title slide here, I have uh, the presentation name. I have the date of the presentation. Um, and then I have a number of other slides which are going to be uh, updated and which are linked to a uh, Microsoft Excel workbook um, that I'll show you. So on this slide, for example, uh, it shows how many computers, servers, and uh, smartphones and so on that a, a typical IT group might support. And of course, this data might get updated on a weekly, monthly, uh, or quarterly basis. Um, and then on this slide, I have um, the um, typical Engage infographics here, the donut charts. Um, and then uh, on this slide, I have an actual data table. And then this data table, uh, over here uh, shows the uh, projected surplus shortfalls for different projects. And then I have a total value here. And then based on this value, I have a um, text box here, which uh, spells out um, whether uh, we are predicting a $50 million surplus or a shortfall or, or whatnot, but it's based on this total here. So all this data here in this presentation, uh, there's no need to manually update this um, uh, this can be automated and so this is what I'll show you and uh, let me show you what the data um, looks like in Excel. So this is what the file in Excel looks like. So this will be a quarterly uh, presentation. So over here um, I've got all my data set up. I've got my Q1 data, uh, my Q2 data over here, Q3 and uh, finally my Q4 data. And uh, I've made it easy, here are the data. Uh, in Q4, there's a lot of fours. In Q3, there's a lot of threes. Uh, in Q2, a lot of twos. And in Q1, a lot of ones. And um, naturally, this is all uh, dummy data. Um, but what you see here in highlighted in blue, these are the cells that are linked to that uh, PowerPoint presentation. Uh, and then below, this is what uh, feeds um, those donut charts. This is what feeds that project summary slide, that uh, data table. Um, and then over here, you can see the uh, projected uh, surplus or shortfall over here. And based on this value, um, we create a uh, cell uh, with a text string um, that will feed that text box. And uh, I've got some uh, functions here that does that uh, for me automatically. So for example, if I um, select Q2, what happens is all this data here will get pulled uh, from the Q2, and uh, I'll just save that. And so this data changes over here, and then uh, this surplus value in this sentence here changes as well. It used to be a $50 million surplus. Now we are projecting a $20 million surplus. Um, so if I go back to my PowerPoint slide, um, you'll see here if I update this slide, um, so the way to do that, you just click on Automate and Microsoft Excel. And so I'll show you how to create the links, but first I just want to show you what uh, the updated values look like. So I select the source file. You can have multiple source files, but in this case I just have one. Um, so I'll select this one, and then I'll just click on reload values. 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. So in about two seconds, it's updated the entire presentation. So you'll see the data in this table has been updated. Uh, now we have a $20 million surplus instead of a 50 million. Uh, this sentence has changed as well to reflect that. Uh, the donut charts have been updated as well. And uh, over here as well, um, we used to have, I think it was uh, 11,000 computers and uh, 11,000 smartphones and so on. Now there are a lot of twos because this is Q2 and that was uh, the data. And then over here, even the title and the date has changed as well. Um, so this is how uh, this function works. So if I go back to my Excel spreadsheet, and this time um, I'll just skip ahead and go to uh, Q4. So I'll save this. In Q4, um, the title changes obviously to Q4. The date also changes. So uh, we used to have an April 1st. Uh, now it'll be October 1st. The number of computers will also change. So now there'll be a lot of fours. Um, so over here, you'll see a lot of fours. Um, and then the donut charts as well, they'll be much, much higher. Um, and then in this uh, quarter, there's an actual shortfall. So the parentheses tell us that this is a negative number. And uh, we are predicting a uh, $30 million shortfall. So instead of the word surplus, now you'll see shortfall. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and close this file. And I'll just go back here and click on automate. 
and I'll go back to Microsoft Excel. I'll click on that source file and I'll reload the values. So one, one thousand, two, one. Okay. And then we're done. So less than two seconds, it's updated the entire presentation. And so again, you'll see these donut charts uh, have been updated. The title has been updated as well. Q4, the date has been updated. And uh, this slide, all these um, PowerPoint uh, shapes have been updated as well. And then finally, if you go to the data table, uh, this is where you see the predicted um, $30 million shortfall. And then you can see this text box also updated. So um, now I'm just going to show you how easy it is for you to automate your own presentations. Um, so this works with any PowerPoint object. So if I just go here and uh, I insert a text box down here, um, perhaps I'll add um, number of um, tablets. So um, I have that. And then what I'll do is I'll just add another text box over here. And in this example, I'm just going to say that um, perhaps there's uh, 30 tablets. So uh, what I'll do is I'll just kind of move this up here. And then what I want to do is this is something, this is a number that might change on a weekly, monthly, or quarterly basis. So this is a really good example of something I might want to automate. Um, so what I'll do is um, I'll click on the Engage tab. I'll click on Automate and then I'll click on Microsoft Excel. And in this case here, what I'll do is I'll click on this create a link button. So I'll click on that. And then this asks me to uh, link uh, a shape. So I'll select this shape and I'll click on link selected shape. Um, and in this case, I can link to any uh, Microsoft Excel file. Uh, so I could click on that browse button and, uh, and access the Excel file that way. But in this case, I already have um, an Excel file um, linked as a source to this presentation. So I'll just reuse this one and I'll click open. So it's open that file for me. Um, and what I'll do here is I'll just add a number of tablets and um, we'll select a different number. We'll put um, 86 tablets. And what I'll do is over here, this dialog is asking me to pick a cell. So this is the cell I want to select. And then I'll click on this button and one 1000. Okay. So less than one second, it's already linked that, um, value. So, um, to show you how it's linked, uh, what I'll do now is, um, I'll show you a shortcut. Um, if I select this file, um, before clicking reload values, if you click on this little arrow, it'll open the source. So this will open that source. So if I change this to 755 tablets and I save this, um, I can go back here and then I'll just click on reload values. So 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000. Okay. And now we're done. So now you can see that it's updated the entire presentation and it's updated, um, this, uh, PowerPoint, uh, shape as well. So that's how automation, uh, works. Um, so a couple other things, I'll just, uh, show you a couple of their, uh, neat features here. Um, so if you want to go back and find the shapes that are linked, um, so if I go, for example, um, I'm on um, slide four. So it tells me that on this slide, I have three shapes that are connected and linked. So this is the first one. So I've got the table. If I click the next arrow, it brings me back or brings me down to uh, this shape over here. So this text is also linked. And then finally, the third shape that's linked is this one, which we just did uh, just now. Um, and this button here, if I were to click this, it would disconnect uh, that shape. So I can go ahead and do that and uh, disconnect that. So it's just letting me know that's permanent. So whenever I update the presentation, because I've disconnected this shape, this will always stay static. Uh, and of course I can reconnect it uh, as well. Um, so I'm just going to show you a couple other things. Um, what happens if you change the name of your Excel file? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just close this Excel file and, um, going to go back to my desktop here. So if for whatever reason I were to change the name of, um, that file, uh, let's see what, uh, the system would do here. Um, so if I click on automate and I go Microsoft Excel, in this case, I would select this file. And if I wanted to reload the values, um, it wouldn't find that file. It would say that that file under that name doesn't exist anymore. Um, but what I can do here, you'll notice this change source button. 
So uh, if for whatever reason you need to change the name of the file, it doesn't lose all of um, the link connections that you've made. Uh, you just have to change the source. So what I'll do is I'll click, I'll select this file and I'll click on change source and then I'll just select it here. So this is the one. So if I double click on that, um, what it does is it uh, reconnects to this uh, new file. So um, if I select this file and I open the source and uh, if I go and I select, uh, for example, Q3 because we haven't done that one yet and save this, I can go back here and click on reload values and then it'll reload the values over here. So you'll see that uh, these values here have been updated. Um, the donut charts have been updated. Um, the values on this slide has, have been updated. And finally, the uh, data on the um, title slide have been updated. And that is how you automate your PowerPoint presentations um, with your data in any Microsoft Excel worksheet. Thank you.